Welcome to the We On podcast, where we explore fascinating stories and ideas from various fields. In this episode, we uncover the journey of interstellar comet 3I Atlas, which may soon lose its tail after enduring an intense encounter with our Sun. Interstellar comet 3I Atlas is fast zooming towards the Sun. Meanwhile, our star is waking up and becoming active. The sun will soon be raging in its current solar cycle and will release a coronal mass ejection, or CME, which is expected to collide with 3I Atlas. Will the whiplash affect the comet in any way? Scientists are intrigued to see if it does. This interstellar visitor is the third one after Oumuamua and Comet Borisov. Its trajectory shows that it is coming from outside our solar system, has a dusty coma, and now also has a tail after weeks of absence. Latest data on its motion gathered by the Minor Planet Center, the International Astronomical Union, shows that 3I Atlas has a nucleus that runs for over 5.6 kilometers. It is also quite large and supposedly has a mass of over 33 billion tons. Harvard scientist Avi Loeb says that's an anomaly for a comet. If it were a naturally occurring space rock, then its size suggests that we should have found a hundred thousand interstellar objects smaller than it before stumbling upon 3I Atlas. Coming back to the Sun, the comet is expected to bear the brunt. Spaceweather.com reported, citing a new NASA forecast model, that a CME will collide with interstellar comet 3I Atlas on 25 September 2025, one day up or down. This sets the stage for the first of its kind event as a CME is being released right when only the third interstellar comet is passing through the solar system. When the two smash into each other, the results could be fascinating. Solar plasma has slammed into a comet in the past. On April 20, 2007, Comet Enki collided with a CME and NASA's Stereo A spacecraft saw it happening. At that time, the CME disturbed the magnetic field around the comet, and its tail broke off. However, it was back within minutes. 3I Atlas might also have its tail yanked off. Could the CME also change its trajectory? NASA doesn't think that the comet's path will be altered by the solar plasma, but a CME collision with the interstellar comet might not be caught by any of the telescopes, as 3I Atlas will soon go behind the sun. Traveling at a speed of 221,000 km per hour or 60,000 km per second, the alien comet will soon come near Mars. On October 3rd, it will be at a short distance from the Red Planet, and this is when several of humanity's Mars missions might get to take a good look at 3I Atlas, the CASS's camera onboard ESA's Trace Gas Orbiter and the Mars Express's high-resolution stereo camera are all geared up to snap pictures of this alien visitor when it flies by Mars. Thanks for tuning into this incredible story. If this episode resonated with you, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button for more captivating stories to come. Stay tuned.